Hey, True Believers England Teen here with another batch of new comic book reviews doing the future state. Going through them one at a time with a whole bunch of other comics. In this case, I've got the uh, independent comic uh, picture of everything else. I've got The Amazing Spider-Man number 55. I was curious. I had to pick this up, find out why all the speculators are going crazy for it. And then we have an independent comic book called Scout's Honor for you. So kick back, relax, and let's get this party started. Hey, did you hear there's a new Wonder Woman? Yeah, she's from the Amazon and everything, and with John Kent, they've aged him up. He's Superman now. Batman's black! Did you hear that? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. Wow. They have done so much to Gotham City and everything. It's just weird, and it's out there. And it's amazing what they're doing with all of these books, seriously. And it's uh, that's why I've been going through the future state. As a matter of fact, even Green Lantern, even though the book was crap, has a lot of changes to it. I, I would have to point out the fact, however, that no one is talking about the Swamp Thing. No one is talking about this book, and it's, uh, in my opinion, wrong. This is the best of the future state. Hands down, no kidding, no irony, and no hesitation, I say that. Why? Because, as I've stated before... If you're going to show us a new world, you have to do a little world building. You have to show... Is his hand on his ass on the bottom pa panel? Anyway, you have to show us who these characters are, what their motivations are. Give us a little backstory as to how they got to this point. And this book does all of that. These new characters who are following the green, which is Swamp Thing, are interesting. They've even got the blue, who seems to be the bad guy version of the Swamp Thing up there. This is by far the best of the future state, hands down. I've liked a couple of them, too. I've liked Superman. I, I did like the Detective Comics story as well. Uh, but this one, head and shoulders above. And this is the quiet one. This is the red-headed stepchild of future state, the one that seems to be, as I said before, it's forgotten. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody cares about Swamp Thing. What the hell does he have to do with the fact that we're race swapping other characters or when gender swapping this one swamp things an entity you can't gender or race swap him so why would you freaking care about swamp thing other than that what you're getting right here is a very well drawn as you could see by the art that's going by and here's something very well written book that is showing you everything you need to know to love this world this isn't a comic book born from gimmick. This is a comic book born from merit. And I have, a, I have news for you. I, I can promise you that most people, even if they heard great reviews about it, would let this one go by the wayside. It, it's going to be ending up in the same dollar bin with the Robert ben, Venditti comics. <laughs> Maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe it's like, oh, well, you know, we'll... We'll have them keep producing those really bad books because then we can get the really good books for a buck. I don't know. I don't know. But I have a feeling this one's going to falter and fail just as much as the other good books we've praised. Alrighty, then we go to David Repose's Scout's Honor. And I've, I heard nothing about this. This is one of those, what I'll do is I'll get my books out, off the, uh, out of the box at, at the comic shop and then I'll go peruse the independent aisle. And whatever looks like it might be interesting... I pick up, and so I, okay, Scout's Honor, let's check this out, let's see if this is any good, holy crap, yes, uh, I gotta tell you, there are a couple of things that, uh, it took me a while to get into this book, the first few pages, you see these people come out, we find out that they're kind of, they're, they call them Ranger Scouts, and they've kind of been raised, like, with, you know, Scout's Honor, and all that kind of stuff, um, and that, they go into more of that story later, now, they do a couple of things. They're chasing this radioactive wild boar, giant boar thing. And I'm wondering, why is it that humans never get evolved from the radiation except for in superhero books? So this is 256 years after the, uh, the, the big bombs drop and this car gets uh, jump-started. I mean, the, the rubber of the tires would have fallen off. Nothing would be working. The electricity in the battery would be gone. Uh, it just doesn't work that way, gang, but that's how they portrayed it, and that was kind of ridiculous. So there were a lot of leaps in, you know, if, uh, that, uh, that you have to take in the first few pages of this. But when you get to this part, when they're doing the funeral for their fallen uh, friend, 
when um, you get to how they turn scouts into a religion after 256 years, you kind of get into the meat and potatoes of the story. The fact that, wait a second, if you're... If you're zealot, if you're zealot about anything, you're going to take it a little bit too far, and they kind of uh, they, they kind of show that here. Sorry, I don't know what set the bird off. He was good up to this point, but uh, that's that to me is part of what makes this interesting. Of course, uh, we then go uh, on a on another mission where the truth comes out. So it, it came out in the first issue, though. So I'm very interested in where they're going to take this story from here on in. I can say that even though there are some uh, stumbles, there are some trips and stumbles, at the very least, it stuck the landing as far as this particular issue is going. Hopefully, it will stick the landing as far as the whole series goes. But I guess time will tell on that one. Give me a good Victorian hori, hor, hori? Give me a good, let me try that again. All right, <clears throat> take two. Give me a good Victorian horror story. I like a good Victorian horror. There's not a lot of them. I did. I just said horror again. There aren't a lot of them. In this case, we've got uh, the story of an artist who his boyfriend uh, feels life is an art, and I must go about creating my art my own way. Basically, he means I'm going to be drunk and steal things. That's his art. That's living life. Life is art. And uh, so this other guy, though, he really wants to learn how to paint and such, and they hear about this weird English painter and uh, the, the things that have he, he's painted, the things he's done. And so they decide, okay, we're going to rob him, but one kind of backs out on it, and so they split. But the guy who backs out ends up meeting the painter. And you find out that this uh, almost Dorian Gray style thing can happen when uh, he tears uh, a painting apart. It rips a body apart, whoever it's painted of, uh, like a little voodoo doll of sorts. And that's the horror element. He gets his friend and goes, oh my gosh, we got to go stop this guy. you know. And he gets his friend and they rush over to go stop this guy. And basically it's a confrontation. Look, one thing about Victorian horror stories, it's all ambiance. And that's what, uh, that's what they're trying to go for here. Now, does it work? Sometimes. Is it good? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's just... I don't know. It's one of those, I, I've said this before. It's one of those, uh, or I've said this before about other books. It's one of those comic books where you just kind of want to put it on the fridge and go, oh, look, you made a comic. That's awesome. Boom. There you go. You know, you don't want to insult the person because they really, you know, they did put some work into this. The, the writing isn't horrible. It's just there. The art, as you can see, isn't horrible, but it's not great either. This is almost a master class in that's that's okay. That that's this book right here. It absolutely reached the middle, and that's just fine, sir. Not everything can be number one, but you are at least on the list. You here's your participation tro trophy. It's a comic book, and it's called The Picture of Everything Else. Okay, so I picked up Amazing Spider-Man because the speculator craze has had it. And I was like, so why is this going crazy? And they said it was because of the cover. And I was like, well, I'd like to read it to do a little review on my channel. And, uh, yeah, they got me a copy while everybody was paying high prices on the Internet. I literally asked my comic shop, can you get me a copy? And I've got a first printing in my hand. Didn't cost me anything extra. No, you know, they didn't. Uh, oh, my gosh, here, you got to pay $15 because somebody said this is going to go up in value. None of that. I'll tell you this: if you're, if you're, uh, if you hear something with a speculator crowd, wait, because you're already too late. Anyway, the story itself: uh, Harry Osborne goes nuts on Peter, brings in Mary Jane, and Peter goes nuts on him, starts beating the crap out of him, and then they just kind of yell at each other for a while. Uh, and I guess Harry Osborne has the power to kill people and bring them back. Is that like anybody he could bring back, or is it just if he kills them? Once again, I really don't read Spider-Man. Uh, I guess I could. I mean, it's not a bad book. I mean, and this isn't a bad book. It really isn't. I was just wondering, you know, why why are the speculators going crazy for it? I mean, it's a lot of yelling back and forth. They do talk about things that happened in the past, and I kind of dug on that a little bit. 
you know, they brought up the whole thing. I didn't tell you because I was trying to protect you, you know, that kind of thing, which I always thought was kind of silly, but I don't know. Otherwise, it's it's okay. The art is okay. It's decent. Uh, I don't think anybody would be offended by it. If you pick it up, if you find it cheap enough, uh, that's awesome. I just wouldn't pay specular prices for it. All right, gang, so those are the reviews, and now it's time for the wrap-up, and if you're new here, I always line them up from the book I like the least to the book I like the best, and this time around, I gotta go with uh, the worst being the picture of everything else. Once again, it wasn't horrible. It just wasn't. It was it was there, and that's not good enough, in my opinion. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man. It's a decent book. If you're Amazing Spider-Man, if you're a Spider-Man fan, you're gonna enjoy it, especially if you've been following through. Uh, I think it was all right, but I got to tell you, I really did like Scout's Honor. As much as I had to work through that first part, it is better than the Spider-Man book just a little bit. But I got to tell you, the big winner of the week has to be the Swamp Thing. It is a very well told, very well drawn story that I got to say is at the top of the future state list. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell if you haven't done it already, and make sure that the notifications are set on all. And if you haven't done it already, go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep the lights on. Helps keep making videos for you. I'd like, thank everybody who's already done that, and to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.